Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Uh, today we're going to take a look at ServiceNow, specifically looking at the uh, Knowledge Management KCS Capabilities plugin, kind of what it entails, uh, and just really just kind of doing an overview of Knowledge Management with that plugin installed. Now I haven't dabbled a ton into it yet, um, but just the kind of preliminary of what I've seen has been pretty awesome looking. Uh, before I got heavy into ITSM, I actually started in uh, at the service desk and then got really into knowledge management. And so KCS is kind of near and dear to my heart. So taking a look, uh, all I did was a quick search in the filter navigator, uh, looking in the application navigator to go under knowledge. And we're just gonna kind of go through some of these items together here. So the first thing I noticed, uh, you've got your create new, pretty standard, import articles, unpublished, published, retired, all. So we're going to go ahead and click on all and just take a look. I think it's really cool that they kind of um, have these items here, the publish, unpublished, and retired just uh, built in so you're easily able to see published articles generally going to be available to the public, unpublished articles uh, generally available uh, internally um, just because we want to make sure that knowledge is available uh, instantly. So these are just some out of the box kind of demo knowledge articles here. I'm just gonna pull one up. So we can see it's got a category, it's got which knowledge base is associated with. Um, ServiceNow, you uh, create different knowledge bases for different things. So if you wanted like an internal knowledge base, for instance, or maybe an IT knowledge base versus an HR knowledge base, you can have that kind of separation if you wanted to. Um, we can see it's got the article body. Now, one of the cool things that I really like about this is that it's got the article versions, and this is automatic. So if I check this out here, we can see right here, a new version of the article is created for uh, revision. If I scroll down here, we do see that right here. So that's automatic. And that's something that I think is very important. Um, now, granted, when you're utilizing KCS, you should be training your individuals so only the people with the appropriate permissions have access to visit certain articles and, and update them. Uh, however, even at that time, right, you still might have a mix up, you might have a mistake happen, you might, things might get um, put down that they shouldn't. And that's okay, because ServiceNow offers this version history. So we can see the knowledge article does go into a review status as well. So it's not just being published right away. It needs to have that review status, which I think is also super helpful. We can see the approvals and you can set up different ownership groups, um, any kind of feedback, looking at flagged articles. Um, I think that's very important, making sure that you're able to see any articles that are flagged. I don't believe any are right now. It doesn't look like it. And once again, this is just out of the box here. Uh, any open tasks? I guess there's not any there either. There's not, um, but just a lot of cool items here. You got your article templates that can be super helpful. Um, so out of the box has, if it's a how-to, uh, what is a KCS article or an FAQ. Uh, and down here, I think this is really important too. Uh, that I haven't seen a lot of other systems utilize kind of default out of the box. I and mean, this technically this isn't out of the box, but it, it is a free plugin that you can install. So it's pretty much out of the box. Uh, it does include these AQI checklists. So it does have this article, article quality index checklist um, that it's just really cool to see built within a tool. Um, and, and there are other tools that have this. Uh, I know um, I believe the tool is called Right Answers. I believe they had this in it. Um, so it's not new uh, just for service now, but for a full on ITSM system, uh, I don't see this very often. So is this knowledge article unique? Is the content accurate and relevant? You can create your own AQI checklist. Um, you can see any pending ones, my completing ones. So if you're like a KCS coach, um, you're very quickly able to see this. And so 
having this stuff just kind of built in is just super helpful because I remember uh, a long time ago, I've actually had to build this stuff. We, we, we used Excel uh, documents until we could figure out how to build it within the tool. And it was uh, a lot of effort to do it and get the, the weighting right on it uh, and all of those kind of things. So being seeing this here is just really cool for me. So that's just kind of a very brief taking a look at what this has to offer and, and how it relates to KCS. I think this is uh, very well on its way. And, and I mean, for sure, remember that KCS, it is methodology. There are specific things you should be following if you're doing KCS. However, within those items, things like an AQI checklist um, should be able to be editable. These are editable. You can create your new AQI checklist. Um, how you determine your KCS levels, um, how you determine when things should be flagged. Um, so this really shows that it's, it has the ability that you can do it, you can edit it, and it is there already. So some very cool things uh, that within KCS and, and ServiceNow right here. Um, like I said, just want to do a brief overview of it. Um, that's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day.